from your weather authority. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dan Smith. Well, good Monday evening, San Angelo. We've had a lot of clouds today. You can actually see the sun just barely poking out there uh, just very briefly over the last hour or so. Starting to get a few breaks in the clouds, but rest assured those are going to be filling back in over the next couple of days here because I've got at least one to two inches extra coming in for the Concho Valley. 61 degrees at the airport right now. Feels okay. It's still certainly cooler than we were yesterday around uh, 69, 70 degrees, I believe it was. Humidity still running a little bit high. Lingering moisture. That's going to be the running theme this week as well. Not as much rain as we got last week to easily put us into the wettest October on record. We're just going to keep adding to that, and it's going to take a lot of doing to uh, break this wettest October record for many years hence. Eight miles an hour right now, five to ten is our average today. Really, the winds haven't played much of a factor in the day's events. The satellite and radar just showing this coming up here towards Kimball County, Mason County. A few little specks here on the uh, radar composite here, but they're not really coming that close to San Angelo. Don't bank on a whole lot of rain coming in, but we could actually have some in San Angelo. Over the next uh, 12 to 24 hours, we're really going to start seeing these rain chances ramping up. And you might be thinking, well, yeah, that's all this you're talking about, right? Well, not exactly. That's all moving off towards Austin San Antonio I-35 way. That's not what we're concerned about right now. This is, if you can believe it, Hurricane Willow went from a tropical depression to a Category 5 in just 24 hours. Incredible intensification here off the coast of Mexico. There's part of Vallarta and Cat 4 right now, but this is going to be coming on shore. Really tends to lose its intensity over the mountains, but it is going to be throwing some more rain our way. In fact, our infrared uh, satellite imagery really picking up on what's over us right now. It looks more intense than it really is. You know it, I know it, but it's going to throw some extra rain our way, and here's what we're looking at over the next 48 hours. You're going to see this, maybe a few breaks in the clouds for tomorrow, but as this starts to come back in, this is tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. Going further on through, it really starts to fill in this uh, simulated radar image. This is by Wednesday morning, and aside from that, it's just going to keep on coming. You've been seeing some uh, specks of red down there, uh, really intense rainfall. And again, more of a concentrated event, but with what's already fallen, don't be surprised if flooding concerns come back into the mix for the Concho Valley for the midweek. So forecast for tonight, light rain is at least possible. I'm keeping that mostly down to the south, though. 50 degrees is okay. 61 for tomorrow, about where we're at right now, quite frankly. But those rain chances are going to be increasing. 40% tomorrow, but then it's Wednesday. We really ought to be concerned about Tuesday night and a Wednesday. 54 for them. 80% chance of rain. Thursday, Friday should be very quick to clear, though, and warm up at that. Friday, we're already back to 75 degrees. So that's at least good news for drying out the fields that much quicker for Friday night football. We'll be right back.